Hello friends and welcome back for yet another tutorial for our heirloom Afghan crochet along. Okay, for row two, we're going to complete half double crochets. We worked single crochets in row one. We're going to work on half double crochets here. We're going to place a half double crochet in our first stitch here. So yarn over going into the stitch, making sure we get both the front loop and the back loop. Grabbing our yarn and pulling back through, we have three loops on our hook. We're going to yarn over and pull through all three loops. We're going to skip the next stitch and we're going to complete a half double crochet in the stitch after that. So again, there's our half double crochet. Now we got to go back to this stitch that we skipped. This is a sequence that we're going to start following from this point forward on this row. We're not going to just keep moving forward. We've got to go back now. We've got to grab this stitch. So we're going to complete a half double crochet in this stitch, making sure that when you go into the stitch, you get both the front loop and the back loop. So we're going to yarn over, go back and grab that stitch, pull your yarn through, yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. Okay. We're going to skip the next stitch and complete a half double crochet in the stitch after that. And we're going to go back and grab that stitch that we missed and complete a half double crochet there. Skip a stitch, complete a half double crochet in the next stitch. Going back to the stitch that we skipped and completing a half double crochet. Skip the next stitch and complete a half double crochet in the stitch after that. And go back and get that stitch and complete a half double crochet. And we're just going to complete the sequence to the end. Making sure you keep an eye on your tension. Don't allow yourself to get too tight. And sometimes it's just a little difficult. Make sure when you go back, you go through both loops, the front loop and the back loop of that half of that stitch that you skipped. Half double crochet, going back to the stitch you skipped and completing a half double crochet. All right, we have one stitch left here at the end, the one single crochet left. We're just gonna half double crochet in that stitch there. And so there's row two. So that's the end of row two. Let's go ahead and move on to row three. We're going to chain one and turn. Now here's where I want you to pay attention. Important, important, important. And I'll try to zoom in so you can see this. I'm gonna take my hook out here. Let's look at our work. On our stitches here, we have our little V's on top of our work with our front post and our back post. But as we look forward again, do you see we've got these little horizontal little bars? This is where when we did our backwards half double crochets, they create these little slants. We're gonna be working in these little slants, not working in the top posts, or I'm sorry, in the top loops of our work. We're going to be working in these little slants. So let's put our hook back on our work here. We've already chained one and turn. 
And now what we're going to do is we're going to single crochet in each of these little horizontal strands across. So you want to come up from underneath your work right here. There's a horizontal strand and just get the horizontal strand. So as I put my hook through that little horizontal strand, it's at the front of your work. If I turn, you'll see we still have our front loop and our back loop. We're not working in those. We're just working in this little horizontal strand. So we're going to complete a single crochet. Right here I have a strand. I'm going to pick that up and complete a single crochet. Right here I've got a little strand. Pick that up and complete a single crochet. And you're going to do this all the way across your work completing a single crochet in every little horizontal strand that you see, double checking as you go across to make sure that you're not picking up either a front loop or a back loop. So let me do a few more and we'll check that. Here's a horizontal strand. Here's a horizontal strand, single crochet. Here's a horizontal strand, single crochet, and let's look. As I turn our work over, here are our front loops and back loops, okay? So we're going to work across. When we get to the end, we're going to want 24 single crochet. And so we're just making sure that we're getting a single crochet in each of these horizontal strands as we work across. And always remember, just come up from the bottom towards the top of your work and grab your yarn and pull it through. And it might take you a little while to recognize where those strands are. Just kind of be mindful, look for them, They'll, you'll see them, and as you do this work, you'll start recognizing them more and more as you work across. I'm going to go right to this very last one here, this little horizontal stitch. A little hard to get my hook in there. Grab that and complete a single crochet. And we're going to chain two and turn.